Hey there, I've never done an unboxing video before and I don't have a cameraman here, so it's a pretty weird perspective, probably. Um, I hope I'm in focus, but the most important thing is this box, which has arrived today, straight from Greece. And well, shall we open it? Let's see. Ah, first the wrapping here has to go. Ah, okay, those are actually three boxes, it seems. Box number one. Box number two. Box number three. And we probably don't need that anymore. Oh, this box is basically already open. So let's take a look inside. What do we have here? This looks like nicely packaged and wrapped up lids for the Pyra. Here you go. Nicely black without any coating, paintings, etc. You will see close-ups later. I'm just unpacking here. Here are all the small parts, which means shoulder buttons are here. This is the ceiling for the speakers, which I can then finally test as well. Pretty simple thing. I'll stay here. The transparent logos. Um, the aluminium will come with a later package, so I can't assemble it with the aluminium. Now we've got uh, the nut caps. With the shoulder buttons, yeah, that's mostly it here. Then here are some of those uh, coated ones, I think. I'm not sure that's coated. Oh, that's a pretty nice black. Feels very well. Oh, and it's possible to open the battery lid. Very, very nice. Let's hope it all fits. So that's what we will find out later. Oh, wow. Actually, guys, um, the pictures you saw really are very different from what this really is. This is the blue one and boy, the blue one actually looks really, really nice. I will try to make some proper pictures for you. So this is the silver one, with the difference to the Pandora is that it's not painted, it's coated. So um, this usually doesn't scratch, but I'll test that. <laughs> we'll test that on camera. So yeah, these are, I, I love the blue one. The blue one really looks nice. Nice color. We'll test that, surely. Okay, that's for box number one. Let's move over to box number two. Yeah, these are more of the unpainted parts. These are the uh, bottom, bottoms. Oh, speed up, please. Okay. Here you go, here's a black one. Don't know which material it is, but... Um, well, that's pro one of those where you can see various shrinking marks, which they are still working to fix. These cases are mostly for... Um, not testing, for, for physical testing purposes and to build the prototypes. And the last box, probably the last missing part. Yes, those are the keyboards. So here you go, keyboard part. Um, time to do an assembly of those. And of course, I will take pictures of those for you. And 
let's continue with the assembly and I hope this video was good. It's one shot. I can't repeat it. So let's hope it's good enough for you. So I'm at home now and I took the blue pyro with me. So let's see if we managed to assemble it. I haven't assembled so many Pandora pyros yet, so um, I'm still not used to it. it. Will take a lot longer than assembling it in the end. So first the LCD cable needs two rolls and goes through here. That's the first thing to do. After that, we need to assemble the, uh, put in the LCD cable. which is pretty easy as well. Just plug it in all the way, close it. Next thing, put the lid on top here, close it, done very easily. And well, that's it. Firm everywhere. Um, excuse all those breaks in here and my camera tells me it's overheating for some reason. So I have to restart every few minutes. Did I say minutes? It actually feels like seconds. Well, it is pretty warm in here, so maybe it just has problems with the heat. Well, next is the hinge, which we simply put in here as on the Pandora. Now with the hinge in, what we need to do is slide the SD cable through the slit, push it through, and there we go. Here is the LCD cable. Next is the ceiling for the speakers. First on the inner side, we'll probably get these uh, pre-assembled here, so we don't need to put them in ourselves. Um, I should put it in the right way, then it's probably easier. Ceiling inside, then we've got two speakers, one and two. Now, second ceiling and the PCB will push down here. So it, the inside area is totally sealed. And uh, nubs, of course, and the key mat. Next, of course, the PCB. Most important part of the Pyra, I guess. Now we need to open it and turn around since we need to click the nubs into positions. There you go. Now to plug in the LCD cable, it's easiest to open the lid as the cable then is most relaxed. And can be locked in here. It's easier if you use a screwdriver for the second side. Close it down. And that's that. Now, back part. Shoulder button one. There's the second shoulder, uh, the last shoulder button. Then stylus holder and put the unit together. All we need now is a bunch of screws, which I should have here as well. Okay, so finally we've got the stylus, which now fits properly here as well. Holds in place, sticks in, pretty firm. Well, and finally, let's see if the battery fits. Yeah, you can see it's impossible to move it in here. You will never ever lose contact here. That just doesn't work. So battery compartment, you know, this was almost impossible to open in the last version, but now it works fine. 
Oh, and there you go. I don't know if I have a proper uh, booting card for the system here yet. Um, but I think ATC and Setmat are working on one for me, so um, I plan to assemble a lot more Pyras on the weekend and test them. So what's my opinion for the case now, you might ask? Well, I think so far it turned out fine. You can see the lid holds in any position. Um, the knobs work fine. The shoulder buttons click and are working now. Um, the key mat is, is not the case, but that has already been perfectioned, as you know, as it's uh, in the hand of the community right now. Um, the lid fits, the battery fits perfectly, so um, right now the case physically is fine. It works as it should. Um, there's only one thing I have, but um, that's a non-issue right now. Um, if you paint it, it will scratch with a screwdriver, but not if you try to scratch it with your fingers. I will do more testing for a painted one. It's, it's not painted, it's, um, uh, well, I don't know the, the English word for that, but it's a special powder um, that's basically burned onto the plastic. So uh, this is why it usually doesn't rub off. That's how you do it properly. Um, well, but I will check that. I will really try to hassle the case with uh, vinegar and all kinds of acids, salt, so if you have sweaty fingers that it doesn't wear off and then I'll decide if it's okay to use a, to use some coating here or not. Um, the black cases I currently have have uh, the issue they are not perfect yet. They are working fine physically as they should, but you can see some marks and some shrinking marks and um, the reason for that is that they used the plastics material from another mass production they are currently doing which is for way bigger plastic and the problem is that there are different uh, well it's all the same type of plastic but there are different variations and um, some are very uh, liquid and some are more well more like a gel and for, for such small parts like the Pyra, you need a very, very liquid um, plastic if it's hot. Otherwise, you will have some markings uh, because the plastic doesn't flow into the mold properly. And they didn't have a material for that. And right now they ordered that. They even sent them the 3D data of the full case because the company that produces plastic actually simulates the mold and then makes the plastic especially for that use case. And it's also for the use case of um, the uh, of for mobile devices. So this should be perfect and then we won't need any coating. But the coating looks nice, especially I like that blue. So I really like to check out if it's possible to use that coating and or if it wears out. It should be the same as on the GPD uh, Win or GPD XD. I think they use the same kind of coating and I've never seen it wear off. So um, the blue one, the blue case is the only one that creaks a bit in the hinge, probably because there's some uh, coating in there as well. Um, that also doesn't happen on the black one and well, Basically, the case is now physically finished as well. Nothing to complain. Just have to wait for the new material. We'll do some testings. Um, not only how well the, the coating holds up, but also with um, stability tests, hitting it, trying to break it and stuff like that. I've got enough black cases for that. I think I've got 50 and that's more than we need. So I can really, really do some extensive testings here. Uh, next step, of course, is to build units for the developers because then they can work on the operating system, improve it, find the last final box if there are any, hopefully not. And um, then I will take care of testing the coating and the plastic itself because it's more important to get something out to the devs first. So, it's not perfect, but uh, if we try to make a case perfect we would need a lot more funding properly for well probably for the budget we had which was about 300,000 euro this device is really something so yeah maybe for next revisions I will continuously try to work on casing and on the PCB and everything because it's easy to replace them there's nothing glued in there you've seen it you just can open a few screws you can open the lid completely 
uh, alone and don't have to open the basement so everything is replaceable. So that's it for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video even though I had a real fight with my camera and the quality is not that good. You might know I'm used to professional video equipment and now I tried my own camera at home and well it's a photo camera and it's not really suited for that and yes you guessed right that was another overheating. Uh, maybe it's the cheap SD card that heats up too fast and I will do some testing here first. Well I hope you enjoyed it anyways and see you soon on the boards.